Hi guys, it is a cloudy, gloomy, windy day here, which I guess will be literally the collapse of uh, industrial civilization tomorrow in the great state of Texas, but today it is uh, a t Tuesday, March 28, 2023, so uh, I guess we're being warned all over this neighborhood that we will have no electricity all day tomorrow uh, and they are telling us to get prepared and the power company is warning the neighborhood to get prepared for having no electricity and so this has gotten my mind on what I've need to be thinking about anyway about getting prepared for having no electricity and you know, I've, for those of you who don't know, I am an Airbnb host. And I have these two, well, I have three tiny houses. One of them just has a, has a power cord out from the house to it. But I've got, I built these two tiny houses, uh, you know, up in the woods back behind my cabin at Bugs in a Jar Farm. And I'm trying to decide how to get power to them, how much money I want to spend and all of this. Uh, now, obviously, if, if I were living in these houses full time, 365 days a year, I would do, you know, put in a, a real solar powered system with the things on the roof and the giant batteries and all of that. But what these are is they're, you know, they're little vacation cabins I have on Airbnb, and I'm, I'm only open five months a year. So there's really four months a year that they're being used. Eight, pretty much, for all intents and purposes, six to eight months a year, uh, they're just sitting there vacant. And I can't rationalize doing one of these full solar systems. So I know you guys have heard of these, uh, these solar powered little, I don't know, is generator, I don't know if generator is the right word, but these, these little gizmos uh, with these little solar panels that are, uh, you know, portable, these portable generators. And while they're not, you know, while they're not going to run a, you know, a full-size house, it sounds like the perfect thing for me. Uh, the, the perfect uh, compromise, uh, as it were, for my tiny houses. Then what it also allows is when I'm not uh, in New York for half of the year or more, uh, I'm not even in New York, and I can put this thing in the back of my truck and take it with me in my truck or my little camper and wherever I am, I can set this thing up. So I'm pretty much sold on buying one of these. So I have been over here at Amazon.com trying to figure out which one of these things I want to buy. And of course, I am a, you know, a complete clueless moron Luddite. So I'm just looking for advice. Uh, what it sounds like is I'm going to be looking at somewhere between $600 and $900. I've got it down to four or five of them that are priced anywhere from $600 to $900 on Amazon. Every one of them just has fantastic reviews, every single one of them. And everyone seems to love them, uh, saying, you get this one, get this one. Uh, I'm just going to mention four of them. Here is the EBL Portable Power Station Solar Generator 1000 Watt with two 100 Watt uh, portable solar panels. I'm looking at $800 for 
for that one, um, then I really like the, the this next one that is seven hundred dollars with the coupon, but I don't think it. Uh, I I'm pretty sure no the seven hundred dollars I have to buy the uh, I have to buy the panels separately so I'm probably looking at another three hundred dollars uh, it would be real nice if they told me the name of the company does not even put the name of the company somewhere on here but it is a 1500 watt solar generator so uh, a 1500 watt solar generator and I like it it has six AC outlets uh, here's one with the coupon be $600 uh, a solar generator 1021 power portable power station 1000 watt it has one 120 watt panel there's another one for about the same price with two 100 ones let's look at one more um, here's one for a little over $700, an Enernova, E-N-E-R-N-O-V-A, an Enernova solar generator, 1,000 watt portable power station with two 100 watt panels. So anyway, guys. I could go on and on with this. This is just my top five. And uh, I am just uh, asking any, uh, any kind of solar, solar panel geek out there. I, I just want some feedback. Does anybody have any recommendations? I want to hear from somebody I know who has actually gotten one of these things and uh, actually owns one of these things and do you recommend it? Do you not recommend it? Uh, I'm looking for what are the pitfalls I need to uh, look for in buying one of these. So anyway, if you have any uh, advice for me, just leave a comment, I guess or email me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com collapsechronicles at gmail.com and help me out here guys and uh, come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm this summer and hang out in one of my tiny houses while well, you still can but I see my buddy has arrived he said he was bringing lunch over. So, all right, I have a free lunch. My mama always said, never refuse a free lunch. She didn't say there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, my, my mama did say every once in a while, you really do get a free lunch in your life with no strings attached. So we will see how many strings are going to be attached to this free lunch my buddy is bringing. I highly advise you to go out there and grab whatever free lunch you can while you still can. Bye, guys.